until you are restless. Certain things will not come out of you. I give you five tips. Five things that bring out your hidden glory. Number one is the power of decision. Nothing become glorious until a man decides to be glorious. Stop waiting for people to decide how your life will become. You decide what you want to become in conjunction with the Holy Spirit. If you fail today, it's your decision. Stop blaming pastors, prophets, everybody for the reason why your life you are, is where you are. It's your decision. Your decision is a pointer to your destination. What you decide attracts your distinction. You are a product of what you decide. There are certain things around you that will not manifest until you decide to be great. It's okay, you have failed before. Uh -huh, that's okay. But it's not okay to remain a failure. Decide. Anybody can say whatever they want to say about you. But decide to choose what you want to become. You are not what they say. You are what you decide to be. Am I talking? Decide who to follow. Decide who to live. Decide where to stay. Decide how to live. Decide your happiness. Decide your joy. Decide your habitat. Decide your association. Decide your spiritual father. Decide your pastor. Decide your prophet. Stop moving around and be chosen by what people say. Who cares what they say? What have you decided? When the decision of people become your decision, you are finished. Joshua said, as for me and my household, we have choose to serve the living God. What have you decided? They said, they said, I don't care what they say. What did you say? They said, they say that I cannot marry. They said that I will die poor. They said, they say, when they say it, what did you say? I have fallen down. My church has scattered. Uh -huh. After it has scattered, what have you decided to bounce back? The Bible said the righteous shall fall seven times and shall rise up again. There is a wind of grace that can be open for you. I am saying what did you decide? Stop telling me about what they say. Stop telling me about what you say. Speak the word for it shall not stand for there is no divinity neither enchantment against Israel. Have I not said it? Will I not do it? That so shall my word be that went forth out of my mouth for it shall not return to me void for it shall accomplish to that which I have sent because the word of God is sharper than any true edged sword. Then he said thy word is a light to my path that trust in the Lord and in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the same was with him in the beginning that by him were all things made that without him were nothing made that was made that in him was the life and the life was the light of men that when the light shined in darkness that darkness complete and they did not for death and life are in the power of the tongue what do you say about yourself I know my DNA. You can't, you are too small to smaller size me. If you talk, I talk. Are you hearing what I'm saying? My tongue is not for decoration, it's to release anti ballistic cruise missile. Am I talking to somebody here? A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Let them say, What are you saying? Making the right judgment is the power of wisdom. That enforces decision. Decide to be happy. Your happy. Stop making your happiness to be in the hands of somebody. Nobody can make you happy except you choose and decide to be happy. Social media should not be your source of happiness. It's a place where everybody go and catch crows. There are too many artificiality. So if you allow yourself to be controlled by social media, you have social mental problem. So as I decide to be happy. Listen to me, it's good to have friends, but your friend, your relationship should not, your relationship should not be the determinant factor of your happiness. You see why joy is one of the fruit of the spirit? Because it is not controlled by happenings. It's a fruit that generates from inside. 